So the second strategy that we're talking about now within the seven key strategies to deal with uh, vision loss is stress management. All right, stress is huge now. It's, it's a killer. Uh, the mismanagement of stress is causing crazy things to happen in our society, like suicide and the opiate crisis going on. We as people are just horrible at managing stress, and it's killing people. And you know what else? It dramatically accelerates your progressive vision loss. How? So we talked in the last video why exercise is so important. It causes increases peripheral blood flow, and it dilates the blood vessels. Right? That's how we get more oxygen. When we exercise, we have these blood vessels that dilate to increase oxygenation to all parts of our body. Specifically, in this case, we're talking about our eyes. So one of the things that happens when we get stressed out is the blood vessels and the capillaries in our whole body, uh, mostly our peripheral nervous system, our hands and our feet and our head, those start to shut down and constrict. That's when people are under stress a lot of times. They get cold hands and cold feet and they get headaches, get muscle tension, they get dizzy and woozy because the uh, blood flow slows down up to the brain. So we have this constriction of the blood vessels that reduces the blood flow to our eyes and to our brain and to all the cells of our body. And reduced blood flow is really, really good if you need to just deal with survival. If we're you know, being chased by a saber-toothed tiger you know, thousands, tens of thousands of years ago, and we need it for survival, that's fine because we're in, you know, we have a stress response. It increases blood flow to our thighs, to our heart, shuts down our digestive system, gives us the fight or flight response, right? So that's useful in a life or death situation. But we know that today most of the stress that we deal with is not really a life or death situation. It's more of an emotional or mental stress that we're dealing with. And that stress over time can really have uh, dramatic impacts in terms of accelerating our vision loss. It causes inflammation, accelerated oxidation or oxidative stress of our tissues. What ox oxidative stress is accelerated aging. So our whole body accelerates in its aging process. The oxidation is where our skin starts to starts to you know get more wrinkly and tougher. Um, we lose elastin. Our, our skin starts to get like age spots and molds. So we start to age and inside our body starts to age too. So oxidative stress will, will increase because of stress and it'll also accelerate any neurodegenerative conditions we have. It's hard on the brain, it's hard on the heart, it's hard on our whole system because the body keeps releasing these chemicals inside, things like catecholamines, adrenaline, cortisol, all these things that really are useful when we're dealing with a fight or flight, life or death situation, but they're not really useful if we're dealing with like, you know, argument with a boss or a spouse or, you know, a disappointment or somebody cutting us off or something like that. So these stresses, it's so important for us to learn how to better manage our stress and just be okay and learn to kind of disconnect. Uh, modern psychology calls it disassociation. So we need to learn to level up our, our skill sets in dealing with stress and really start to pull away and disconnect from things that don't serve us and are not useful. Um, often that can include some people sometimes too. Now I know we have family, we have uh, moms, dads, uh, partners, husbands, wives, kids, uh, people we have to deal with that can kind of stress us out. Some people really don't have a choice we have to deal with, but other people we do. And if there are people in our lives or situations in our lives that are stressing us out, we need to really deal with that. We need to look at that and make a decision. How, what's the cost of us interacting with that? What's the cost of keeping the job that's, that's stressing us out or the relationship that's just beating us? It's like drinking acid and just poisoning us because it creates so much stress. When we get stressed, it releases these poisonous, toxic chemicals in our body that just sit around. And that's why we talked earlier about exercise. One of the best ways to help get these chemicals moved through the body so they're not sitting there is to exercise and move our body. So when we're stressed out, one of the best things we could do is move and go for a walk or stretch or do deep breathing. So there's a lot of ways, and I'm probably at some point gonna do a whole video series for you guys on ways to really manage stress. But I just, for right now, I just want you guys to know and be aware that the impact of stress, whether you're dealing with it uh, in, a, in, a, in a constructive, positive way, or it's eating at you and really beating you up, only you know that. So 
uh, you know, if you need to get a therapist or, you know, talk to a friend or deal with some stuff or, you know, go to church or something, uh, go meditate, take medica meditations or medications. Sometimes you might need medications too to help you out. Um, things like CBD, um, GABA, there are a lot of things that help increase our serotonin levels and help like acupuncture helps improve our endorphin levels to help us manage stress better. So we really need a better way to manage our stress. So if that's you and you're dealing with a lot of stress in your life, just, just uh, respect that and observe it. Don't like freak out about it, but just know that that's something you might need to work on. Okay, it's something that, that you may need help with. So don't be afraid to get therapy or talk to somebody about it or go be proactive in terms of managing the stress in your life because it really is a very significant factor, not only for our whole life, but also, you know, as we're specifically talking about how it relates to our vision here. So manage your stress, do what you have to do. Uh, we will be putting out more content, or I will personally be putting out more content for you guys on specific strategies on how to deal with stress. Because in my opinion, stress is the number one driver to progressive, accelerating progressive vision loss. And I've seen that because my type A patients who come in and are dealing with things like glaucoma, retinitis pigmentosa, diabetic retinopathy, cataracts, dry eye, uh, any of these conditions, the ones that are type A and super stressed out and not managing their stress very well are accelerating at a much faster rate than my type B patients who are a little bit more chill and things don't bother them so much. So it's really important that we get this under control. So we'll talk more about this in the future, but at this point in time, I really just wanna make you aware of the importance of managing your stress. So please, please, please take this to heart and just invest in you do what you need to do to help you manage your stress a little bit better. And then we'll move on to number three soon.